surprises most people when you talk about federally recognized tribes, the ones that, uh, that we have to deal with. And there's actually 32 tribes total on here. And part of it's because the tribes were, were uh, fractured. When you look at the Potawatomi, for example, that were up around the Chicago area, they got scattered to, into a lot of different places. So the Citizen Band Potawatomi Nation in Oklahoma, the Prairie Band Potawatomi in Kansas, Forest County Potawatomi Community of Wisconsin, Hannaville Indian Community of Wisconsin, the Pokagon Band, the Potawatomi in Michigan, the Huron Potawatomi in Michigan, Gun Lake Potawatomi in Michigan. So that, the Potawatomi got split into all of those different factions. Then we have the Ho-Chunk Nation of Wisconsin. The Ho-Chunks are the same as the, the Winnebago's, but they moved back to Wisconsin and, and bought their own land and, and uh, became their own tribe again in their original homeland. They felt like that was important. The Winnebago tribe is in Nebraska, there at Omaha. Uh, Kickapoo, that were right here in this area, Kickapoo uh, in Kansas, uh, Kickapoo of Oklahoma, and the Kickapoo in Texas, which also there are some Kickapoo in Mexico, but our federal government doesn't recognize them because they're in another country, just like we don't recognize those tribes that are in Canada. Then we've got the Peoria tribe of Indians of Oklahoma. We talked about those earlier. The Sac and Fox of Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska. The Sac and Fox of Oklahoma. And the Sac and Fox of the Mississippi in Iowa. Those are the ones that are in Tama. Now these others have these other claims that, that are recognized because other tribes made forays into here. You know, you know the story about Starved Rock? That's generally attributed to the Ottawa people uh, that, that had the battles with uh, the Illinois Indians there. The Iroquois even came into Illinois fighting the Illinois all the time. There was a, an epic battle uh, with the Tamaroa all the way down where the Illinois River goes into the Mississippi. And so they came into, into, into this state quite a bit too. And so did the uh, Delaware. But the Shawnee, the absentee Shawnee of Oklahoma, the Eastern Shawnee of Oklahoma, and then also the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma because of that little strip when they came across the southern end of the state. And the United <coughs> Ketua Band of Cherokee Indians of Oklahoma. Uh, the Delaware tribe of western Oklahoma, the eastern Delaware tribe of Oklahoma, the Menominee uh, tribe of Wisconsin, the Kaw of Oklahoma, Omaha tribe of Nebraska, uh, the Osage Nation of Oklahoma, the Ponca tribe of uh, Nebraska, Ponca tribe of Oklahoma, the Quapaws in uh, Arkansas, the Oto Missouris uh, in Oklahoma, and the Iowa tribe in Kansas and Nebraska, and the Iowa tribe of Oklahoma. Those are all tribes that have legal <coughs> claims when you start talking about um, ancestral lands in Illinois. But we don't have any tribes in, in this state. This isn't the resident tribe or resident state of any tribe anymore. 